Okay. Well, YouTubers, uh, I recently had a problem with a rat in my garage. And I'd never had the problem before, but he suddenly appeared last winter. And uh, he's been living in my garage for the last probably six months. He was living, unfortunately, on grass seed that I had uh, left in the garage. And uh, he made a feast out of that. And um, so I decided to get rid of him. It's starting, it's springtime now. It's just beginning to be spring. So I decided to try to get rid of him. So uh, what I, I did research on the internet, all the stuff I tried, you know, the little peanut butter on a, you know, little uh, uh, um, circular object on a wire and a pail of water. Uh, that didn't work. The stick boards did not work. Uh, the regular mouse traps did not work. This is a very wily rat, uh, very wise, and uh, he's he thought he was here to stay. So what I what I, I did notice that there was mention of essential oils uh, in the uh, uh, you know that they're very rats are very sensitive to their um, uh, oils. Uh, any any you know anything that interrupts their sense of smell, they're very sensitive to. So I thought, well, I'm not going to waste money on expensive e essential oils uh, for this rat. I'm just going to go straight to the most obnoxious smell I know, and that's uh, ammonia. And this is, in fact, what they use to bring a person back to consciousness if they fainted. So, um, so I thought, okay, I'm going to put a good... You know, I'm going to uh, put several rags soaked with ammonia uh, along his pathways in the garage and see if that works. Close up the garage, stink him out, see if that works. So uh, this is now the third day, and I've done it uh, for the first day. Uh, what happened was that uh, I soaked all of these rags, and sure enough, the next day, there was no sign of him, and I, you know, and I know because he would frequently, you know, anytime I would open the garage door, he would uh, appear, and or or you know go scurrying off to try to find his hiding place. So what I did was uh, I put these rags around. This is now the third day, and within 24 hours, he disappeared. And appears he's gone for good. He uh, decided that he didn't want his sense of smell to be permanently <laughs> affected. So uh, this is uh, by far the best way to get rid of rats is just to assault their sense of smell and they will take off. So let me see here. I need to get something to put that up with. But anyway, so put it in his favorite, you know, where he likes to hang out. And uh, he should be gone within 24 hours. So, and this is like, like I said, this is uh, now the third day I'm doing this. And what I did was I put these rags up here uh, because ammonia uh, will rise. It's lighter than air. It will rise. And so these are all his places that he likes to go. So um, that's what I'm doing. And it works very, very well. Very cheap, very fast. And uh, I haven't seen him uh, at all in the last, uh, well, 48 hours anyway. He's gone. So it, it, it definitely works within the first 24 hours. Just be careful. Wear gloves. And you also want to wear some breathing, like a face mask, because this stuff is very obnoxious. It, it'll, it could burn your, your um, breathing, you know, your throat and eyes and stuff. So wear gloves and wear a mask. Just, you know, use common sense. Phew, this stuff stinks. And... Uh, 
and you should be okay. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close up this garage. That's the other thing. You want to close up this garage, the garage, uh, because it, 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 it keeps the smell in longer, and that's what you want to do. You want to drive him away. There we go. Um, and uh, and this is the this is the absolute best way. Uh, and you know you, you might want to kind of continuously do it, through, especially in the the months that that they tend to you know uh, be looking for a place. Now of course after you do this, what you want to do is you want to um, let's see here. You want to, um, there we go, um, oh, close up any openings that you, you have in your garage. And the best way you can tell that is uh, uh, just look for sunlight. And uh, rats can get in through very small openings. So um, you want to, uh, you know, discourage them from doing that. I'm going to put some right here. There are a couple of other holes that I've spotted that he may be coming through. So do that. The other thing, too, is if you're cleaning up your garage after you know there's been a rat infestation, uh, do yourself a favor. Wear the mask. Wear the gloves. Be very careful because... Dried rat feces is actually very dangerous. You can get hantavirus uh, from it, which is a very serious, deadly um, uh, disease. Um, it's somewhat similar to bubonic plague, so that should, I think, sufficiently scare the crap out of anybody who thinks that rats are just, uh, uh, you know, uh, to be ignored. They're not. They're extremely dangerous. So anyway, that's it. Do that. Wear your face mask. Wear your your gloves. Enclose the area. Don't, don't breathe the toxic fumes if you can help it, because they are toxic. And what I use, I get this at the Dollar Tree store. It's clear ammonia. It cost me a dollar. So there you go. It's uh, three days I've used uh, what, two quarts, this two quart thing. And I'm going to stock up in this stuff because every once in a while I'm going to make, make sure, especially if I think there's any activity in this garage, uh, I'm going to make sure to, uh, to uh, attack, you know, put, uh, redouse these rags with the pneumonia. And the thing is, just leave them up in inaccessible areas and, uh, and you, you can just grab them, douse them, throw them back up there, you're done. It's less than a minute. Very easy. It'll put rat to, and pest control people out of, out of business. Sorry, folks, but this works for me. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're real sensitive to ammonia, then maybe this isn't the route for you. Just be careful. And, uh, and that's it. It worked for me. Gone in 24 hours, and I had tried numerous other uh, you know, mouse traps, sticky boards, you name it. And I couldn't, couldn't get rid of this mouse, but now he's gone, so I'm very happy. Anyway, that's it. Signing off. Bye-bye.